Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal and I have got my brand new handheld Bing Bang that I am super excited to try out today for the first time and bring you guys along with me. What do I have here today? Some of you may have guessed it. Most of you probably did not. This is my brand new Sky DVG one and this is the red dot model it's got the red dot on top of it is that the side that shows you the model nope i just spun it around <laughs> there we go sky d v g one this is a nine millimeter and from the factory if you get the r d or red dot model you get a red dot on top but long story short Sky Pistols, they are made in the USA, they're affordable, they're subcompact, 9mm, they also have a 380 that hey, they're easy to conceal, they go bang every time you pull the trigger, and they're not going to cost you a whole bunch of money. I brought out my CPX2 Sky <clears throat> right here, this is the red dot model also, this is the CPX2 RD. If you guys have been around the channel, you've seen me do a bunch of videos with this. We've done trick shot videos, shot things that were ridiculous, flying blue lights at 100 yards, done silly things like hit starburst with it and stuff like that. But this is my Sky CPX2. The brand new model is the DVG1. What's different about this one? It has this flat face trigger. The trigger is also a five and a half pound trigger, so a 5.5 pound trigger. Check out the red dot on this baby. See how well I can show you this on camera. There it is, there you go. So it's kind of hard to show you red dots sometimes on camera because what my eye sees or what your eye might see doesn't translate well in the lens. But you can see the red dot in there kind of hard to show up through the video camera but to my eyeballs um, fantastic looking red dot you know sometimes when you get uh, really cheap red dots they have a huge starburst and it's kind of hard to see because it's not a crisp dot there you go that distance it shows up a lot better but the the camera dimmer and focus wants to make it look really small but uh, let me see if I can do it again the dots larger than what it's looking like right there but you get the gist it's a red dot uh it comes this way this came to me with a ride on that's what that little squiggly inside a shield looking design is that's a ride on red dot came from the factory uh to me like this on the rd models so you can order these standard just with the iron sights for a little bit more beans you can have them with the red dot on top but one thing about even the red dot model, it does have a slide cut back here, and it does have that white uh, front sight, so if you just like your iron sights, or you want the backup in case the red dot goes out, well, then you have them right there. But, this is my first time ever getting my hands on one of these. Tons of you guys have been requesting to see this one ever since I got the CPX2 red dot and started flinging boo lights, but first thing we gotta do, uh, I'm assuming this red dot is close, uh, but we got to get the red dot dead on. Probably going to make some fine adjustments uh, depending on where it's at. It's got an adjustment screw there for up and down, right there for right and left. So I'm going to load some boo lights in this baby. Put it on paper at 10 yards, see if we need to make some adjustments. Uh, then we're going to go out here on some steel at some different ranges here and just have a whole lot of fun. All right, now I've got two mags loaded up. I'm out here slinging some Callaway Ballistics 9mm today. 115 grain full metal jackets. Pretty shiny. But first to get that red dot on, at 10 yards I got this paper plate right here. And it already has a hole in it from another video, but we're still going to use it and aim at that pink spot in the middle. So. I can't remember if I said exactly what I was going to do here or not, but on this paper plate out here, what I've already done is just look at the red dot there. I don't know if you guys can see it here in the camera, but 
align the red dot as close as I can to my eyeballs to the iron sights and that should get us half decent to that red dot being on. I didn't have to adjust it too much out of the box but if I can hit that center of that paper plate out there half consistently then I'm probably going to leave it. We might tweak it a little bit if we need to. What good is a bang bang that you can't hit something with? But let's we'll see uh, how I can do on this paper plate. See if my adjustments uh, close to the irons is close enough. And then we'll go out here to the steel. Y'all should see that paper plate in the corner there. That's the one that I'm aiming at. Ten yards here. So here's those Callaway 9 millimeters. See how we can do, really focus on my trigger squeeze here. Make sure it's not me screwing things up. Felt good about that trigger squeeze. And let me zoom in and show you where we hit. Tad bit high of center. So we're good with the left and right. Remember that bottom hole was already there. I just hit that top one. Let's send some more and just kind of see where our average is with me squeezing on that trigger and we might have to make a little adjustment here and there good news is is hey I fed that one didn't have any problems out of the box I didn't even put any oil on it normally I try to remember to do that right out of the box see how this second one hits focus on that trigger squeeze one might have hit high all right slow down here now I think I missed the plate on that one There we go. All right, so there was a whole mag. Let's zoom in and see how the paper plate looks with a whole mag in it. I didn't make any adjustments yet. But we might based on this. Well, that big hole in the bottom, or two thirds of the way down, was already there. The rest of those, the average is maybe just a shade high. But based on that, for now, I'm not going to make any adjustments to the trigger. Let's go out here and see if we can slap some steel on the range out here. All right, y'all can see the lighting this time of the morning. It's really dark in here, and then it's really bright out here. So what I'm going to do, Just uh, I only brought one camera out here today. You guys believe that? Normally I have two, three, four, five all at the same time. What I'm going to do is zoom you in on this orange silhouette. That's at 20 yards from where I'm standing. If I can hit some at 20 yards with that BBG1 red dot, I'm probably going to be okay with leaving that red dot where it is because at 10 yards we're hitting that plate at 20 yards that would make my air go and probably make me miss that piece of steel so i'm going to zoom you in there i'm just going to send a whole mag I already loaded up another mag here i think i put 10 in there see how i can do it 20 yards on that silhouette so let me zoom you in zoom you in there let you see all three. I might get froggy and try to hit one of those little bit smaller ones, but at least the first few I'm going to try to send at that big orange one in the middle there. It's got some fresh paint on it. Let's see if I can hit anything at 20 yards. Really focus on my trigger squeeze here. All right, we got him. Where'd we get him? You look at the camera. Looks like we hit them dead square in the center. So, that makes me happy. Let me send a few more, see if that wasn't a mistake here. Got them, hit almost the same spot at 20 yards. I think our red dot's good. All right, so there's, I think, five on that piece of steel. Let's go to the circle to the right there. See if we can hit that guy a little bit smaller. Got him. Now, 
Let's go to some even smaller pieces of steel. Uh-oh. Somebody said, this guy's getting crazy. 20 yards with the sky. What? All right. Those are actually pretty small. I think the one on the right is maybe a three inch gone, but I'm going to try here. See if I can hit that medium one and then the tiny one. 20 yards with the sky. Tag that one. See if I can hit that real tiny one there. Oh, I missed him. Can't see where I'm missing. Ah, oh, that was a whole mag. But let me reload here. All right, now. So I wasn't doing hot on that tiny piece of steel at 20 yards. But just for giggles, I've got a green silhouette up there at 50 yards. That's at 50 yards. It's it's like this big. Y'all can't even see. It's like that big up there at 50 yards. So I'm gonna try to really focus on my trigger squeeze. Just for fun, out here, first time with this guy. See if we can hit that big old green silhouette at 50 yards. Let me zoom y'all in here. I think I can get at least one. I think I loaded up five or six more in the mag here. Maybe we put them all on there. I don't know. That guy right there. I just painted that. So we ought to be able to see the hits. I know we'll be able to hear the hits. All right. Focus on this trigger squeeze, Hootie. Slapped him. Looks like the bottom right edge, maybe. Let me look at the camera screen. Yep. Got him. Let's finish this mag off, see if we can keep it up. Got him again. Looks like almost the exact same spot. That, that was luck, but... Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I hit the edge. I can't see that far away. Finish this mag off. Yeah, I think I might have hit the edge that time. And we missed. There we go. Trying to be too cocky. Got him that time. And we missed that one. And we tagged him that time. And we missed the 50 yard one. Really zoom in on that thing and see where we hit. So, looks like I hit two up there on the edge on the left side. And then I hit two kind of towards the center, more towards the right. Then I think I completely missed two or three. But, that's out there at 50 yards with that sky. Bring y'all all the way back here, you can see what I'm seeing. But, thanks for coming along guys. There you have it, out here at the steel range with the Sky DVG-1. This one is the red dot model. It's got that flat face trigger, five and a half pound trigger, made in America. It's not gonna break the bank. And I'm out here, even at 50 yards, hitting the steel majority of the time. But if you pick one of these up, um, you can do just like I did. Um, I did have to make some adjustments out of the box, but all I did to this red dot was adjust it to being dead on with the iron sights. Um, and then you saw it at 10 yards, we're hitting that uh, paper plate there. But when it comes to these handheld bing bangs, people, the number one question is, how do you hit what you're aiming at? And the answer from me always is, you break the trigger when your sights are on the target. Somebody said, duh. It's literally not rocket science, uh, but when people ask me for help um, when it comes to pistolas, that's literally my advice. Um, really slow down, focus on your trigger squeeze. You know, if you can't have some kind of wonky grip, you know, you gotta have a good firm grip, two hands, and Break that trigger when your sight is on the target. You, you got You can't just whoop, bang, and then hope you're going to hit what you're aiming at. You, you got to find that wall and then break that trigger once you're on that wall. You got to be doing more than one thing at a time. You got to be focused on those sights or the red dot in this case. 
and then with your finger find that wall and break it when you're practicing at the range it's okay to slow down once you have the slow version down then you can work on speeding it up and get your training on for defensive stuff but there's no point in having one if you can hit what you're aiming at so definitely uh, always good to get your pistolas out at the range and practice but that's literally it if you want to hit what you're aiming at break the trigger when the sight is on the target it's really not um, any harder than that uh, a lot of people will try to give you a 15 step guide nah if you're out here hanging out with me that's what i would say get you a good grip break the trigger when the sight's on the target you can see out here 10 yards 20 yards even at 50 yards um this is not a target machine right here this is a defensive five and a half pound trigger even at 50 yards we're hitting that piece of steel out there but that was a whole lot of yapping appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with me at the range today make sure you're subscribed to hootie who make sure you're subscribed to the heavy metal channel let me know what you think about the sky dbg1 have you had one put one in your hands let me know what you think about it appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one hootie who Hootie